This is an electric stove, and here's how it works. You push the button, you turn it on, and you make lunch. But this is what happened when John Hudson turned his Samsung electric stove on. I'm just kidding. But try as hard as he might, he couldn't get his electric stove to work. He called Samsung, and they sent a technician three times, and they could not diagnose the problem. Samsung wanted to walk away from the oven even though it was still under warranty. So what do you do when a company wants to wash its hands of a broken product? Number one, contact the company, fill out all the forms, do all the paperwork. And if that doesn't work, reach out to the executive contacts. I list them all on my website, elliot.org. It turns out that Hudson had done all the paperwork that he could, so it was time to take it to the next level and go to the executives. Many customers are reluctant to appeal to an executive contact. They think they're too busy, wouldn't be able to help them. But often, a brief and polite email really does work. So what have you got to lose? Second, appeal to the retailer. If you bought your appliance through a company like Best Buy, you can make this their problem. So if you bought it through Best Buy or someone else, give them a shout, see what they can do for you. And finally, don't give up. I've reviewed hundreds of cases like Hudson's. And what they all have in common is that the company digs its heels in and tries to get people to give up. And the people who finally end up getting what they want are the ones who persevere and who persist and who don't give up. So it's a waiting game and you have to outweigh the company. But eventually, eventually, they will give in and give you what you want. You're probably wondering how the story ended with Hudson. Well, he took some pretty drastic measures. He decided that he was going to sell the condo and then ask Samsung for a refund. The company stopped responding to his requests. So I jumped in and asked Samsung to take a look at his case. It did, and it refunded him the $1,100 he had spent on his electric stove. Now that's what I call an electrifying finale.